Yeah. You look good, mate. Yeah. No need for sunglasses. No, I don't think it's bright enough for that. All right, guys, good morning. Welcome back to another day in Macau. It is a very, very busy place that we are at right now. It is full of people. And I can't see anything, so I still haven't bought any sunglasses. How are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments. Hope you're all well. It's our second day in Macau. Third vlog of the trip. Where is my gang? Where is everyone? I've literally lost everybody. Hello? Hello? Where is everyone? Over there. Ah. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got the temple directly behind me and then the ruins of St. Paul behind me to my left, if you can ignore my squinting. The reason these two are together to show that the Portuguese and the Chinese can live harmoniously together, despite the difference in culture. Very, very cool. How are you today, Shu? I'm good, thank you. A lot more refreshed than the past two days. When more you saw sleep? Me. Yeah, I don't look like a panda anymore. Panda? Yeah. It's funny you should say that. <laughs> why, why so? <laughs> Anyone like pink buildings? Do you like pink buildings? I love pink buildings. Well, there's a pink building right here. Well, guys, this street here is called Lovers Lane. But not for lovers as in lovers. Lovers is in the love of God because you can see up to St. Paul's Church which is now St. Paul's ruins because it got burned down in the 1800s, unfortunately, but it's still a beautiful building nonetheless. Checking out some world famous rabbit lanterns. This is Chan Wai Fei. Love to eat rabbit. No, I disagree with that. Each their own. How's it guys? How's it guys? I never thought in my life at any point I would be going around an exhibition for little rabbit lanterns, but it's actually pretty cool. Look at all these rabbits. Oh my god. Look at all these rabbits. We are just taking a little walk through the St. Lazarus district here in Macau. It's a beautiful day, the sun is out and it's not as hazy today, which is making it nice, but this bag, it's just full of gear, so heavy. Beautiful streets though, some lovely architecture. Just taking it all in really. And a school. St. Lazarus Church, this building here. So as always with every new place we go, of course, one of my main things that I always want to find is a good coffee. This place, Wonderwall Coffee, has got a five star rating on Google. Not even 4.9, it's genuinely five. Gonna have to go in and try it. And it's a push, bloody hell. Yeah. Right, we just walked past this coffee shop. Hello. And for any of you that's watched his videos, George is a demon. Hello, Hello. how are you? Hi. Yeah. So we found this place. Um, do you have any drip? Mm. Drip? Coffee. Drip coffee? coffee? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Do you know what? First. Can I grab a flat white, please? Yeah. Guys, right, check this place out. Yes, this is cool. Look at these seats. Okay, I already rate this place. Even got a nice little water dispensary. 
This quote is also incredible. So is that. Especially that. Jordan, I prevent, I present you <laughs> this flat wash. It's more likely that you'll prevent me and then have it yourself, right? That's very true. <laughs> Tell the people. It's good coffee. Is it good? Yeah, man. Like, you're more of a, a fishyondo than me, but this is. This is, is it going to break records or is it good? It's good. I think it's going to break records. I like. We like to give honest reviews on this channel, as you know. I don't know, man. Thank you, sir. Right. Give it to me and then we'll do the contrast. That's great. Right. That's great. No, Cheers, guys. I actually really like that. Because it's not too strong and I've already had one today, so I didn't want it to be too strong. Mm. I want to say 7 out of 10, which is pretty good. Considering, like, your Nescaf pour is like 1. Mm. Coffee with George, coming soon. Coffee with Gio. So then, guys, this is called Blue Butterfly Tea. You can try just like this. So lemon and okay. honey, yeah? Yeah. And here. Ooh, let's get professional. The color change. It's purple. Oh, yes. Nice. Wow. This is ludicrous. <laughs> it's magic. Harry Potter's been here, isn't he? Cool. No shoe. Harry Potter's in a film. It's not real. He's real. I'm guy. I'm guy. Thank you. All right. So Wonderwall coffee, pretty good. Three pound forty, roughly, for the flat white, which isn't cheap but it was a good coffee nonetheless and it was one that was highly recommended so happy with that all right back to the car time for some transportation let's just go so then guys we are going to a michelin star restaurant right now and guess what the chef's name is of all of the names in the world he's called antonio i like that all right, so we made it. Another cool looking street. Antonio's restaurant. Tapas to Portugal by Antonio. He likes everyone to know his name. I like that. Just celebrated 10th anniversary. 10th anniversary? Yeah. This is Jenny, everybody, by the way. Hi, Jenny. What Antonio Conti do? What? Oh, I like that one. <laughs> I like that. To be fair, everyone who's good in this world is called Antonio at the moment. Remember Antonio from Madrid? He was cool. Antonio from Macau, he's probably going to be quite cool. Chelsea Blue as well, Antonio knows his stuff. Cheers guys. Cheers team. Cheers. So a good Cheers. second day so far in Macau. Penna, 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 penna. All right, this is our sausage being cooked right in front of us. That is a really interesting sausage right there. Just watching a cut of my sausage. I'm gonna take a little dipperoni of the sausage, guys. Mm. Wow. Good flavour, right? Eh? It's so good, it's so smoked. Mm. That cooked in about uh, 30 seconds. Mm. It's not old fashioned anymore. Yeah. Bravo, Antonio, bravo. Garlic prawns. What's this again? What's this? Goat's one? cheese. Goat's cheese, mate. Goat's cheese steak. Greatest of all time. Every day. I always feel so bad when people are allergic to seafood. Bit of goat's cheese. Thank you. This looks amazing, thank you. Okay, that was a really, really nice meal. We had a few sharing plates. It's actually really 
nice on this trip to be trying lots of different sharing plates with food because the food here is really really good and as well as that you sort of cherish sitting around a table eating your meal with people when you're all sharing the plates you're all talking and like you turn your phones off you try and turn your cameras off I know I film quite a lot it's been really really good and now we are heading to go and see a very special animal you may have got the references throughout the vlog so far today I'm really excited for this because I've never seen one before not in a zoo nowhere it's the Macau Tower aka the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower in Macau is officially exactly half the size of the one in Paris. Fun fact of the day. There are two separate pens for the pandas. We've got the mum and the two babies in here, and then the father in this one over here. And the reason the father is in this pen separately is because if he wasn't, he would attack the babies. And no one wants that right now. This guy's just clearing up the enclosure. He's gone into bed up there somewhere. Nice, five stars. Now I was thinking I just ate a massive lunch. These guys eat 20 kilograms of bamboo every single day, 20 kilograms. That, that's a lot. That is a five, that's a 50th of a ton of bamboo every single day. Alright guys, we've got an old school, classic, chase the sunset mission right now. I used to love these when I first started vlogging. Still do. The sun is going down behind the buildings, behind the camera. It's about 30 minutes until it properly goes down. We've got to somehow get from the science museum to somewhere else because the buildings are basically covering it and we want to get around the side of it so that we can see it properly. Check this out, it still looks pretty cool here. Just popping around behind that tree right now. And it's about to look super nice. Eh? Another giant rabbit lantern. They're everywhere. Ah, 2017, the second Macau Lantern Festival. Got it. Guys, check this out. Wow. Now the sun has set, we've come to a little area called the Taipa Village. It's very close to Antonio's restaurant where we were earlier today. Lots of sort of thin streets and a lot of food around here. Um, I'm still not hungry because that's such a big lunch. These streets are really cool. Do need to hydrate myself though with the classic curry sweat. Thank you. What have you bought? Oh, the, oh yeah, I just gave you some durian ice cream. Do you want to try it? It's supposed to be stinky. Stinky? Just what I've always dreamed of. Oh, that's that fruit. That gammy, disgusting fruit. Yeah, why not? The next thing on the let's try everything in Macau list is sawdust pudding. I'm gonna give this a little go. Oh, interesting. It smells like sawdust, to be fair. It looks like it. It looks like it shouldn't be cold. 
Yeah, it looks like it does apple crumble. This is quite intriguing. Shall I, shall I get a spoon so that we're yeah. not like animals? Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Panda, 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 panda. Alright, I've got a bit of the like, oh, bit of the crumble, bit of the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no way. Mmm. Is it good? It's the verdict. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Genuinely? Yeah, it's back. like a biscuit. Okay. <laughs> Thumbs up. A biscuit with cold bits in it. And the cold bits happen to be ice cream that tastes really nice. Yeah, I'm all about that. Mm. I'd actually recommend this. It's kind of like cheesecake. Yeah, that's, mm. yeah, that's what I'd say. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Three, I think. I think this is a <laughs> round robin of thumbs in the air. Like, we just don't care. Oh, I've got a bit of Western music going on. Well, guys, that woman has put me in a great mood. She still meets some wonderful people on this earth, even in times of need. More mango juice. She's just bringing it out of nowhere. This woman's got wonderful mangoes. This guy looks like he's having a good time. Cool little bit of art on the side of this shop here. The Kunha Bazaar. Her body's gold like September. She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say 